The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Eight Fruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering for good to show you how to find things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search of the Week this week? Okay, so this week I've been working on floppy disk interfaces. So I designed some hardware. Um, first up is a uh, feather um, that'll connect to uh, 24, sorry, 34 pin IDC cables that are on the back of uh, floppy disk drives. Um, what do you want to do? The feather. This one? Nope. This one. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's just kind of, you know, to, to make it easier for me to do the wiring because there's so many pins that you need to connect. It's not 34 pins because every other pin is ground, but it is like 12 or 13 pins or 14 pins. So it can, it can get um, a little hairy. And then um, to do a little bit more advanced interfacing where you might want to talk to different drives, I have a little like flippy floppy friend that will have all the different uh, connector formats. Um, Flippy floppy. Yeah. Thank, thank you for yeah. the little watermark. Yeah. Um, so no, that's, I, it's not a watermark. <laughs> I, I just like the logo. That's fine. I gotta remember because I don't want. No, any, I don't mean watermark. Like don't use don't the want, image. I don't want anyone to say now you're watermarking images. We're not. I like the little graphic we made. I thank you for having know, a little friend. Um, so, uh, and and the issue these are up on uh, GitHub under an upper permissive license, so you can use them right now. Um, so this is just like a breadboard to uh, 34 pin IDC connector. Um, and uh, the IDC cable is quite easy. We've actually covered uh, IDC cables on the Great Search. So this is a standard 34-pin um, 30 uh, cable. If you have to do the twisted part, you need to get the this, this special cable. But for just like you want to connect to OneDrive, just use a straight-through IDC. Um, but the tough part that's a little bit more annoying is the uh, power connector. So let's go to the overhead and I can show this power connector. So... So this is the um, IDC connector, and I'm just using jumper cables right now, but it's a um, it's a 2x17 IDC. Um, and then there's this power connector, and the power connector is, um, it looks like it's a 2.54 inch, um, it looks like it's a 2.54 inch, but it's got like a keyed connector. And one thing that's a little um, scary is, you know, one side's five volts and the other side's 12 volts. Um, now floppy drives don't actually use 12 volts, but just in case, it's probably best not to flip the cable around, especially if you're connecting, you know, maybe to drives that do require 12 volts. Like I think, uh, I imagine five and a quarter inch disc drives require 12 volts because they're just that much bigger. But I don't know, maybe eight inch drives, but the connector is spec. Um, for 12 volts and so I want to make sure that even though like you know today I'm using just like a, a jumper cable I want to get those uh, key connectors so that on my PCB when people connect um, there's no risk of uh, mixing it up so let's go to the computer and um, okay so I actually just typed in uh, to Google um, floppy disk power connector because I was like, what is what is this connector? And there's nothing wrong with Googling. You never know. Um, you might be able to get uh, some good info. So this is a nice image on Wikipedia. And you can see the keyed connector. Uh, red, I think, is 5 volts. And then black, black, 2 grounds, and then yellow. Let me see the other way around. And then this is the, the power connector here, and this is the um, data connector there. And again, the, the data connector is IDC standard issue. So this cable is actually called a Berg connector, which I always find really funny because like Berg is a, is a sub-brand of Molex. Like it was purchased by, um, sorry, Amphenol. So even though it's like a full company, like people like to say it's a Berg connector. And this is um, true of JSTs as well. People are like, it's a JST or it's a Molex. It's like, okay, these are companies that manufacture hundreds of different connectors. So like that's a weird way of, of calling it. It's like, what is that car model? Oh, it's a Ford. A Ford what? Oh, just a Ford. There's like many Ford cars. Anyways, um, so this connector is, um, let's see, I even have the pin out which is nice. Oh, okay, yellow is 12 volts. So what's nice is um, it's a 2.5 millimeter pitch and um, it is uh, 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 keyed. So you, you, know, you definitely want to get the right one. What's nice is they say here um, the part number, which is uh, AMP uh, 17, 
So go to DigiKey and we type that in. And sometimes uh, you don't get the connector, but in this case, you know, they actually do have them in stock, which is quite nice. Like even though floppy disk drives are no longer made, um, this connector is still available, which is, uh, you know, nice and fancy. Um, oh wait, let me, uh, you can uh, look at the 3D model here as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use this connector because I'll be able to get cables that have the matching um, polarity on both sides, custom made. Um, I will say it's not a standard cable, so it's like if you're looking for that on DigiKey, you're not gonna find it. However, I thought as a bonus, I'd show how to get a, a, cable, a cable that might not be keyed, but you might be able to use, even though it's not using the same exact part number. Like, it's a bit of a hack, but you'll find that, especially at larger pitch um, cables, you know, if it's 2.5 millimeter, you can find almost any 2.5 millimeter and kind of like get it to work. And that might like hold you over until you get um, proper cables made. So let's go to cable assemblies. Um, and in this case, it's, it's even though it's a single line, it would be called a rectangular um, cable assembly. Keep this running. And um, one thing that I do like is the DigiKey search is updated recently. So when you click on stuff, it like does the sub selection highlighting. So for example, um, if you go to the connector and you know, we know this is a 2.5, um, 0.25 inch, sorry, 2.5 millimeter, um, 0 0.098 um, inch, it'll actually, you can see like it um, grays out the cable versions, like the, the cable PID products that don't, won't be available. So like there is no 60 pin 2.5 millimeter, which is expected. Um, but there is four, single row. And um, when I apply this, you know, you, I like to apply because it kind of clears up um, some stuff. And then let's look at what's in stock. And um, there's a few cables and some of them I'm like, I don't know, this is kind of a little bit, it's a little bit of a, of a strange connector. Um, but this one, you know, might work. It's, it's short, so maybe we could look for a longer one. Let's see, length. Um, let's get one that's like six, six to, you know, half a foot to a foot long. Yeah, some of these are, yeah, like this one. You know, it's it's a Molex, but I think it, it might work. I think like this one is a little bit um, weird, this Bizu style. It's like a waterproof connector. Or this um, JST XAF, I think could also work. Like it looks like it would fit. Um, I'm gonna order some of these and try it out. But you know, before you get cables custom made or you crimp cables, it's worth it to get like one of each of like, you know, the, the matching pitch and like look type cables. And even though you wouldn't use it in like a final production, um, again, it could get your prototyping up and running. Cause like the cable that I want isn't made normally. And I'm gonna have to contact a PCB, a cable making house and tell them, hey, I want the floppy connector on both ends. Um, that's not a standard connector. Usually it, go, it would go from like the motherboard power supply mm. to the floppy disk. So um, this was the bonus round. The connector is the, is the, um, the TE amp uh, right angle, but this is a cable that I think might work as well. Okay, and is that the great search? That's the great search. And that's a great search. A twofer. <laughs>